Oh, you love to play. Oh, you love to play. Don't your comments won't relay. Sign is on my page for you. Oh, my God, he changed. Young life, I can't see back on my. I just need some brains so I could keep myself in order. That's my cousin. Um, we was just in Tuesday morning because they're going out of business, and I wanted to see what they had, and nothing that tickled my fancy. I was gonna get the um glue gun, but then I thought about it. The glue gun is like $16 and they only taking 10% off the ticket, which makes it like $14 and I can go to Walmart when I need one and go get one for $7, $8. So, yeah. So now we're going to Bed Bath & Beyond because if I'm not mistaken, they're going out of business too or having a sale. And I want to see if they got the um oh, damn, why should I the other way? if they got the um ug bedding on sale the last time I like tested those they're really expensive but they feel so good so I wanted to see what they have and since um Aldi is right over there. I'm gonna see if Aldi got some crab cakes to put with the leftover um leftover um ve nah, we ain't got no vegetables with the leftover like macaroni and cheese. Just to look around and see what Burlington got going on. And then we'll go home because, yeah. As I, did I tell y'all? Or maybe I didn't. But, um, of course, the water is off again because of innovations. I think I was talking to Keish. So I don't remember. Yeah. I think it was Keish. Child, he got his truck in reverse. <laughs> um yeah so they're well supposedly finishing up renovations and supposed to be doing a walkthrough to release the units and i should be back in my unit sometime so at this point i'm looking for a place because the price that i'm paying now doesn't make sense anymore to um to stay there, I might as well go um go look for me a place that's bigger because of the price that I'm paying. So that's the lineup. That's what we're doing. We're going to Bed Bath and Beyond. 
then we're going to go to Oh, why are you pulling right there? Like it's not 51,000 other spaces in here. Oh, um, yeah, we're going to be back to Beyond, then we're going to Augie, then we're going to Burlington. And I think I'm going to walk all those places because they are literally right next to each other. Well, in between is like DSW, but there ain't no need for me to go in there. So, come on, let's go to Bed Bath, Bath and Beyond. I only got one thing I'm looking for. And if it's not the price I want to pay, then I'm leaving it. Because <laughs> people be trying to sell and it be like a little bit of Oh, it's the mic goes out there. And it be a little bit of money off. And be like, what? What am I do with two dollars off? why is it hot it is 71 degrees it was just cold yesterday it's hot so anyway i put the um comforter back <laughs> because it's like where i'm gonna put it i want a, a king size but i have a queen size bed if i take the comforter that i have off now which is not bad um where I'm gonna put it like I'm running out of space which is my issue so I put it back until I decide if I want to move so I'm gonna go in Burlington first oh that one feel good and see what they got on clearance so just look around for a few and then I'm gonna go in Audi and see if I can find some Crab cakes. So go with the macaroni and cheese, or maybe I don't know. Why like that? All right, let's go and burn it. It's absolutely nothing. I really was going in there to look at shoes, but don't really have nothing. So I'm going at Aldi. Like I said, to look for crab cakes or get some shrimp. And that's it. I'll be headed home. I have nothing else. Aldi has my. I left the damn bag in my pocket. Huh. Let's go on out here. Nothing. They didn't have crab cakes. They had seafood, but I want crab cakes. And they didn't have any. So, I'm about to go get gas. And go home and eat the food in my refrigerator. I'm trying to see where the hell you going while you got on damn shades. Cause it ain't, it ain't no sun. It's hot, but it ain't no sun. Out. Um. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Like. Pretty much it. 
letting you in. They letting you in. Wow. Um. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. That's what I'm doing. Uh, you let me in too. Thank you. Are you trying to get over? this weekend for her birthday which is on Monday also um what's I about to say renovations is still sucking and I know y'all like what the right so I don't know if I told y'all I don't know how I'm gonna edit this vlog but anyway um the water was off to yesterday yesterday for renovations they were supposed to be redoing just one bathroom and one unit right it wasn't gonna be long it wasn't gonna be a big job water was off <laughs> water was off for a good little minute water was off until like five o'clock then they turned it back on and the water was cold then around i'm lying the water was out to like 4 4 30 because 4 50 the water started getting 
warm and I was able to take a bath because I ran my little bath water. So it was like, it was warm. It wasn't hot. It was warm, but it was warm enough for me to uh, take my bath. So I took my bath. I was in the tub and those who follow me, follow me, those who know me, who be on my YouTube I be in the tub for a long time, 30 minutes to an hour, I do. I be sitting in the tub watching YouTube, watching the people that I watch, I be chilling, and yeah. So anyway, um, got out of the tub and checked my phone, and the complex manager was like, um, I got a ton of water back up. Matter, matter of fact, before I even looked at the text message, um, <clears throat> I went to the sink. Cause I was getting ready to wash my face and I was like oh man I need to wash my face and I went to turn the water on and I was like mm, the water out again and then went to the sink and it was like drizzling so the little bit of dishes that was in there I was like let me go ahead and wash these dishes and literally after that water was gone <laughs> so he um he had texted me he had responded to a text and I was in the tub. So I got back. Excuse me. I got back to that text because he was asking about the temperature because I had asked. I was like, what happened to the water? To the hot water. And so he was saying how he had just fully, completely turned it back on and how he had turned the boilers back on. And he was like, so it should be hot. So I was like, well, I'll give it a minute. And I did. I gave it like 20, 30 minutes. Uh, I would say 20. 15 or 20 and the what it was warm it wasn't like hot but it was warm it was warm enough for me to get and sit in the tub put it like that and I was he was like is it hot now was the response message but I, when I responded I was like oh I've been in the tub and I was like but it was okay it wasn't as hot as it usually gets and so he was like oh I gotta turn it off again I gotta turn the water off again because it's a leak and it was leaking into another person's uh unit so he had to turn it off again and he was like i'm tired <laughs> i'm tired which i can i can understand because this renovation as i told y'all before i was like this renovation was a money grab and whoever initiated it had no business initiated and i told him and i was like karma's gonna come back and it's not gonna be a good thing because of the money grab situation because they had no intentions on renovating but you did a money grab and so now you're spending more money repairing and fixing leaks than you have renovating the units when you could have just left people the fuck alone because nobody was literally complaining you did this so you could raise rent anyway so yeah so Ty texted me and he was like it's still slightly off so I think they're kind of um, trying to like slowly turn it back on because according to the complex manager, you can't just fully turn it on because it'll bust the pipes. Like you have to slowly turn it back on. So Ty just texted me like 20 minutes ago. So hopefully by the time I get home, it'll be completely fully on and I can do laundry. And hopefully we won't have any more problems. I want it to be moved in to my unit before I go celebrate with Keish. But I don't know how that's gonna go anyway, child. I don't know. I don't know. But that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what's going on. Nothing exciting. I did take a little break. So the last time I recorded was. Mm, I recorded yesterday. So yesterday. I recorded yesterday. But that was my first time recording since. Sunday. So a couple of days I did put the phone down. I did kind of, you know, take a break from vlogging and whatnot. But every time I keep saying I'm going to take a break, I miss you guys. But I am going to always take a break in January. And that's from all social media. That's not just, that's not just, um, vlogging. It's all social media. I take a break from in January because, yeah. So that's pretty much it though. That's pretty much the update. That's pretty much what's going on. I know y'all have seen like the deers. As I told y'all, I was like, I try to capture 
picture of the deers in the morning because I keep telling y'all like where I live it's so many the deers are so bad and they pop out at any time you just never know when they're gonna pop out and they be looking at you like you in the wrong literally so that's pretty much it um that's pretty much what I got going on I told y'all like this weekend I'm celebrating with Keish and next weekend I'll be celebrate, celebrating with Netta which is my other friend um I've been on Netta since college, so, and we've been cool, cool, cool. Netta is, if you watch my, the military police are in my house, and Netta is busy. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, I'll be, um, spending time with Netta next weekend. I don't think I'll see her. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I don't think I've seen her. I don't think I think it's been over a year. It might be two years. I'm gonna have to look to see when the last time like we hung out and we saw each other. I think it's been two years because I think the last time we saw each other was we were exchanging exchanging gifts. Then we were exchanging. I was giving her her birthday and Christmas, and she was giving me Christmas and birthday too. So her birthday is in November and mine is December. So I think that was the last time we've actually seen each other in person. If that's actually the, um, yeah, if that's actually the last time we've seen each other, I'll insert that clip in this vlog so you'll see and you'll meet Netta. Read it. Hello? Yes. You and I are more than friends. We're like a really small <laughs> Like a really small game. Yeah. <laughs> um, sometimes she may be on camera, sometimes she may not. Like I told y'all, everybody don't want to be on camera, so I have to respect that. And I don't have a problem with that. So yeah, that's literally what we are counting down to. I probably will show y'all. No. Nope. That's not probably that's not gonna be in this vlog. I'm pretty sure, like, I got enough footage yesterday. But then again, I'm not going to show all that footage either. I know y'all like, girl, you all over the goddamn place. I know. It's so horrible. I'm thinking about um what story time. Well, the story time that I'm thinking about doing for you guys next is on um, the snippets on how I stopped, how I made the decision to stop drinking. So, I don't really drink alcohol at all. I kind of just like socially drink here and there i used to drink a lot a lot <laughs> a lot so i think i'm going to um do that but i just don't know when you know so i have a couple of things coming up um it's starting to get busy so as of right now i have Three photographers I'm collabing with that's coming up in the future months. Um, really excited about one. Really, really excited about that. Really, really excited. Really excited about that one. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much check in, y'all. Like, that's pretty much what's going on. That's pretty much what's been happening. Nothing new. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing new, nothing really going on at all. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it, that's all, that's it, that's all. That's it, that's all. That's it, that's all. One more thing. So, okay, y'all remember the vlog when we went to Wildwood to Glow at the Fern Bank Museum, right? So, that video on my Instagram didn't really do enough, a lot of numbers to me. I mean, it had like a hundred views, but sometimes my videos, my videos range depending on the algorithm, depending on how Instagram feel, if they want to let me through because I, I don't want to follow the rules as far as being in their box. Um, so they don't let me through the algorithm, which is fine. Anyway. So, I created like a snippet 
from my vlog when we went to the front van for a while with the glow, right? And so I was literally having a conversation with Erica and I was talking about um, how God gave me my platforms because literally nobody has put me on, which is that that's one thing I love that nobody can take the credit for nothing that's going on in my life. God did everything that's going on in my life, right? As far as platforms and stuff, right? Which I absolutely love. I absolutely love that because people are weird. Anyway, so um, the next, like, I think the next day, it might have been two days at the most, um, I noticed in the notification that the Fern Bank page, Instagram page, liked my video. Now, mind you, I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And then I was like, wait a minute. That video didn't even do a lot of views. So, hi, Andy. It's how you hell. Did you even see that video? But my point is this. Stop looking at, and I keep telling y'all this over and over and over and over and over. Stop looking at numbers. Stop looking at, you know what I'm saying? Like, the things that you think people don't notice because you never know who's watching. You never know who's watching. If you are doing a craft, do your craft. Be yourself. Don't let nobody talk you out of it because you never know who's watching. That video really didn't do any numbers. Why you ain't That video really didn't do any. Oh, Lord. The lights are out. Okay, people. So you treat treat this as a four way stop. So they went. Y'all go. We gonna be here for a while because people don't know what to do. Cause they should be no, no. They should be going. Hey, y'all should be going. Now we go. So I don't understand why this bump popped up like an unwanted baby daddy that you don't even want to be with no more and he won't let go. But we about to do some skincare. I haven't been doing it every day. I've been doing it every other day. So I'm still not understanding the purpose. But oh well. Let's go ahead and get this skincare going so we can fix this because it's a no.
Okay, play cousins. I am completely done with my skincare. I'm about to go to bed. I might go ahead and edit this vlog. I don't even know how it became a vlog, but it's a vlog. <laughs> so, I might edit the vlog. I doubt it. I think I'm just really gonna go to sleep. So, until next time, good night. Hey, play cousins. <laughs> Hey y'all, so today is Thursday and I'm going to Zaxby's to pick up my free Big Zax neck because I joined the app. All this time, like I saw the app and I was like, dang it girl, you could have been getting points because all these times you're going to dang on Zaxby's and ordering food, I, I, I could have been getting points all this time. So I joined the app and when I joined the app, they gave me a... Uh, uh, they sent an email and I got a free Big Zax neck. So I'm going to get that for the free. And it's free. Like free. Free. Like nothing. It's coming out my pocket. For real. You get the meal. So I'm going to pick that up. But I also want to go to the beauty supply store. Because I need to wash my hair today. It's my weekly hair wash. So I also noticed how my hair is hard. Um, after washing it, because I haven't used um, Mayel, the uh, pomegranate and honey leave-in, I haven't used that conditioner because it hasn't been at Walmart when I go in there. So I've been using um, ORS, and my hair liked it before, but like she like. So. I'm going to go to the beauty supply store anyways because I want to uh, find a ponytail because I thought about getting my hair braided but I was like, I've been wanting a ponytail for a minute so instead of paying somebody $50, 60 to do a ponytail, I do it myself and just get the drawstring one and, um, you know, lay my hair down flat. So hopefully my hair will lay down after I blow dry it because the plan is to do that <clears throat> um, to actually lay it down after I wash it and blow dry it because um, when my cousin did it we didn't blow dry it we just threw some gel on it and started laying it down that way but I'm hoping I'm hoping I'm hoping that um I can go ahead and have it laid down and stuff so Ooh, that's probably going to be a separate video. I think I'm going to do that by itself. And then, somehow, I've created a vlog doing little odds and ends and recording. <laughs> but I stayed off. I stayed off for like two or three days. So, we good. We good. We good. Um, Yeah, so I think I'm going to do the hair video separate. And then, start recording tomorrow for... Um, the weekend with Keish for her birthday for um I'm gonna do that as a separate blog as well so yeah we're um you have to go in store to pick up the dang on free Zach snack so I'm gonna place the order when I'm at the corner <laughs> and so by the time I pick it up it should be ready to go and not too cold and then I'm gonna head to the beauty supply store and hopefully not get too distracted and just go ahead and give me a ponytail and decide which ponytail I want. I'm thinking about a curly one, but then again, when it's like a ten dollar ponytail, them curly ones um, don't really like. Well, kind of. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do straight or curly. I'm debating. I don't know which one I want to do, but I definitely need to clean up and I also need to pack. So. Some of those videos, it's, it's, there's three different videos, but I'm going to make it work. Three different vlogs. Also, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. My Sheen Tryon has 6K views. Oh, my God. Thank you, Play Cousins. And thank you to the new people who just coming in and looking. Like, hey, neighbors. <laughs> hey, y'all. Who coming in and peeking? Appreciate you so much. Yes, I do. I appreciate the view. Next, I mean, go look through uh, some other videos. It might be something else that you like. And just come on and subscribe and stay a while. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Anyway, so 
yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what we're doing. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much what we what we gonna handle. What we gonna do? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So I know for a fact, like I have ended the vlog here recently. White people so nosy. They want they want to be seen so damn bad. Why are you moving when we at a red light? You want to be seen so damn bad. Now if I jump out and jump out and hit your car, you be acting a fool. Oh my god! Stop being nosy. Stuff that don't even pertain to you. Anyway, so not all white people, cause I got some white people who on my uh. Who are all my social medias and they real cool. Some of y'all just ugh, get it together. Anyway, so yeah, so that's what we have planned for today. Cleaning. I probably won't record any cleaning. I don't need to record any cleaning. I think you guys have seen me clean quite a few times. So I don't think I'm gonna record that, but I'm definitely gonna record the hair situation by itself. And I'm thinking in my head and hoping in my head that it's going to be simple <laughs> because, yeah, because <laughs> it's a drawstring one. I do have um, a ponytail already that my cousin bought uh, when I, I wore it at my mom's service. So that one is curly, but it's a wraparound. It's not the drawstring, and I think the drawstring would be easier to... Cause I can't see in the back to wrap around how I how I want to wrap around stuff. So I think the drawstring will be easier and better. I can just pull. It's to put the little combs in, pull. We secure and we good to go. Side vibes. Feel me? You feel me? Okay. All right. So all right. Let's go to next. It's literally free. I had um I had it set up in my damn phone in the app and I done got logged out and everything. Sometimes your little raggedy ass FBI agent be doing some bullshit. Like, big time bullshit. Like, how you take completely log me out and take everything out? Because you hating. Sign up for the app so you can get a free snack. Like, I got a free snack. Like, it ain't that big of a deal. Damn it. I probably could have went down there. Well, all right. So now we're going to the beauty supply store because we got the food. And I don't plan on being in the beauty supply store long. It was an in and out deal anyway. So literally, I ordered my food. They popped it right there, baby. That toast is smelling like it's, it's giving life. It's giving life. <laughs> so my plan is to go into this beauty supply store. And hurry up and do what I gotta do. I thought I had found a damn car wash, right? I was like, oh, I finally found a car wash because my car is absolutely disgusting. She needs to be vacuumed and washed. I said I was gonna go. Okay, let me back up. So I thought I found a car wash, right? So I looked up the car wash online to see the pricing. Mind you, the car wash up the street from my house. Where I used to go to all the time was twenty dollars, inside and out. Y'all look at that bump. Yeah, look a mess. Twenty dollars inside and out. Literally, they washed out where you went through a conveyor, washed the outside, dried the outside, have a nicely shiny, and then they vacuum it. Eighteen ninety nine. Dead ass. And I be done. And they do a great job. Should be clean, sparkling. We out the door, right? Alright. So when they went out of business had no idea, this idiot pulled out. Had no idea that they were um going out of business. They um Yeah, I'm watching these people driving it. I swear to God. <laughs> well. Um had no idea that was going out of business so when i pulled up to be like oh i need to get my car clean uh, nobody was there the sign was gone yeah so i was like okay we gotta find another one so this one i saw when i was off for christmas 
yeah, this one I saw when I was out for Christmas from work, and I was like, oh, this is a hand wash one right here. And um, it's a conveyor, but they hand wash it. And yeah, I don't know. But anyway, so just the outside is $30. What I used to get for $20 at this hand car wash is $50. Who? Baby, who about to pay $50? Who about to pay $50? Who, who about to pay $50? Who about to pay $50? Who about to pay $50? To pay $50? Not me. So I was like, well, I know about this other car wash that I can drive through. But I don't have to drive my car. So I was like, shit, let me go to the store. Get me a little chamois. Y'all still call them chamois? Y'all might not call them chamois. We call them chamois. But I was like, let me go get me a little chamois. And I'll dry off my car. And then I'll go and vacuum. Because my car is disgusting. So that was my plan. After work, I was like, all right, I'm going to go take my car. Do a nice look. Oh, Lord, what happened to the do the nice little uh, conveyor situation and <laughs> uh, vacuum her out because she is disgust. Child, why is gray? Gray, about the rain, drizzling on and off. Who? Oh, like, why? Why? Every time it's been like that since December. I know my car, like, girl, bitch, you know it. Gave up on me, huh? It's hot, but it's gray outside. Like, it's gray, so it don't make sense for me. To go wash her and it's gonna rain. That's the way I feel anyway. Anyway, so we at the beauty supply store and we're going to go find this ponytail and probably get some Mayel products because Walmart don't have it and I wonder if they have like a small one or um shit, a sample. Yeah, my damn jeans is falling off me. I have lost weight. A lot of weight. Ooh, that's a cute thing. Ooh, that's a cute That's cute. Hello. Excuse me. No, I'm just going to check out your ponytails and make a decision. Thank you. Close your reinforcing cones. Perfect. Yeah, leave in conditioner. I got some of edge control. I think I have one bottle. One bottle. One, two already. I got one tube already, so I'll um I got another one just to make sure that I have a lot of edge control. I should be fine, but just in case. Clean part of my unit up. 
hair and then do my hair. So I don't have to worry about it. I brought a scarf too so it can stay tied. Like I can tie it down real, not too tight, but tight enough. I got a water wave one. I wanted to do a straight one, but I like curls on me. I like curls on me. I got an 18 inch. It's not too long. Yeah, I got an 18 inch, which is perfect. I like 18 inches. Usually when I get like a sewing, it's usually like 16, 18, and 20. Because it's in layers and it's just right because I'm a short girl. So, pretty much that's it. Okay, y'all go thank you. That's pretty much it. That's all. We have accomplished everything we need to accomplish. Yeah. So the next video you see will be a hair video. Because this is the end of the vlog. And I know I've been saying that in almost every video. But things are happening. And I pick up the camera and I'll be like, oh, wait. Let me add, let me add, let me add. Because I love y'all so much. <laughs> so, okay, we're done. So the next one you'll see is the hair video. After the hair video, you'll see pack with me nah i'm not gonna do a pack with me i'm going to start recording when i leave work when i'll be on my way to quiche because yeah everything that i need to do prior i'll do down there instead of doing up here yeah and yeah which i probably yeah, I'm just going to have to tough it out because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because if I do, <laughs> don't bitch, <laughs> you pulled out in front of me like you ain't had nowhere to go, you couldn't wait, huh, you couldn't wait, you ain't care before, what's wrong, what's, why you moving, you ain't had no problem before, you ain't had no problem before with your dumb ass to pull out. Stupid fucker. Man, be scared after you done did some shit. Ooh, all the time I'm going to record it. Baby, listen. It be real life. Real fucking life. Damn, you ain't got to work today. Real fucking life. You pull out in front of me, act like you ain't see me. Now you bobbing in and out, trying to lose me. No, no. Act like you won't see me now. That was very nice of him. But damn, you close. So I try to pull you before me. Got here early. Okay, yeah. So that's the end of the vlog. I might cut that out. <laughs> I might cut that road rage out, but then again, I might leave it in there because it's real life and it's the motherfucker. Real life. And that's all life. All right, y'all.